These gourds are going crazy. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and I'm glad you've joined me here today. Today we are working on a special project. As you can see by the title, we're growing gourds for the Lord. Uh, what is that? What does that mean? Well, we are currently at my church where my family and I attend. And some of you, if you've watched my videos before, you know this. Uh, my wife and I work with our children's ministry program. Um, and I decided that one of the things we could do this year was bring gardening to the church for a lesson. And at the Baker Creek uh, website, uh, rareseeds.com, if you've never ordered from there before, they had bowl gourds. Um, so not your traditional like gourds that you make birdhouses or something like that out of. And it's sunny, guys. Sorry. Um, they had bowl gourds. So you actually make bowls out of these gourds. Um, this is a old timey seed that has been around for Lord knows how long. Um, and I thought this would be neat. So we planted these gourds. As you see, they're growing on this fence here um, at our church playground. So we've got gourds growing on the fence. So the kids, I came out here and planted them. And on Wednesday nights, when we have our kids on, we check the gourds and see how many new ones are on the vine and look at the baby gourds and look at the big gourds. And then at the end of the growing season, um, once we harvest them and they've dried, we're actually going to open them up and make bowls out of like they would have done old time. You know, back in the Bible days, they would have had to either grow a bowl of some kind to, to carve out and use, or they would have had to make clay pots or do something like that. So I just thought it was something neat that we could do here at the church with the kids. Um, so far, they've all really enjoyed it. Today, um, it is September here. We've still got several weeks of these things growing, um, but I had to come over to the church and do some maintenance on them. The vines are going crazy. They're growing out into the parking lots. They're growing up into trees. If you've ever grown gourds before, you know these things go nuts. So I'm over here doing some maintenance on these today and going ahead and picking some of the huge bowl gourds. And so I thought I'd bring you along and document this so that you could see what we're doing over here at our church, growing gourds for the Lord. Now, let me flip this camera around and I'm going to show you what I'm working on. Okay. So right here is where the gourd vine is planted. I planted it right here. There's a little opening between some bushes and it has taken off and grown all the way to the end of the fence row here. It was growing up into this crepe myrtle. I've already pruned it out. And look at this. It just keeps going. It's growing up into this crepe myrtle and bush over here. And it's just going, it's just going. And it's stretching all the way down to over here. And look at these bowl gourds, guys. So here's one in there. And here's one in there. Here's a big boy hidden down in here. Big one in there, another big one there. Isn't this awesome? It's so fun. The kids love coming out here and looking um, for the flowers and the little baby gourds that are forming. Here, let me, and we'll come over here to the truck and show you. This is some of the pruning that I've done. And so you can see right here on this pruning, this is how they start out. So at the flower, the flowers come out and at the base of that, they form the gourds and they just start growing. And every week they're bigger and bigger and bigger until you wind up with this. Now this is the size comparison guys. Look at that. This is a big hand. That's a big gourd. I mean, you can see my pruners here. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? And so what we'll do is once these dry, you know, you just kind of cut them down the middle here and you have two bowls 
per gourd. All right, so let's come on this side of the fence and you can see kind of over here what it's looking like. I mean, the gourds are just vining out. And you can see they're taking off into these trees. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'll prune it here just to kind of get it out of these trees because we don't want it growing up into the trees because then if it gets tangled up in the very tops with gourds and you know, that's gonna be hard to get out. So I've just got to prune these down out of the trees. So I think I'm going to grab my pruners and finish on my little pruning job and we'll come back in a minute. So I wound up with two that I thought were ready to go ahead and come off and a big pile of debris to go to the dumpster. So let's work on that. Okay, so that is sort of wrapping this video up. I found two bowl gourds that were ready to harvest um, and I've brought them inside to our, oh, there's a leaf on me. I've brought them inside to our children's ministry storage room. Um, it's a cool dry place where they can finish drying up, curing, and getting ready for the chop to where the kids can make their bowls. Um, so I think this is gonna be really neat. And this is just a great example of how you can use your time and talents to benefit other things. For me, I'm, I'm using my time and talents to benefit the Lord. Um, I would encourage you to do that. I hope all of you that watch this video have a church home um, and feel called to use your time and talents to help your church community or your religious community. Um, this is so simple. Um, and I also do the planters and stuff like that around our church. It's easy stuff to do, guys. If you have a green thumb, if you like to grow, work with your kids at your church. Help with the planters and the flower beds. Why not use your time and talents to help the Lord and help your church? So I think this is going to be really fun. Our kids are digging it so far. Some of these kids, their parents don't garden. Um, you know, daddy goes out, sometimes daddy, sometimes mom, goes out once a week and cuts the grass or they pay somebody to cut the grass. That, that's all the gardening that they get. Um, so something like this where they've actually saw seeds going in the ground and little shoots coming up to now it's taken over the playground fence and we're seeing these little bitty baby gourds balloon over time into these big monsters they are loving it um, and it's just neat 
And it's a neat and different way to try to relate to them. You know, how back when we talk about Bible times and we talk about, you know, the Lord's Supper or any of that stuff, you know, that they didn't have plastic cups. They didn't have solo cups. They didn't have fancy glasses like we have today. They had to make everything that they had, whether it was clay pottery or gourds that they used to make bowls and cups or wood that they carved out. It's just a neat way to kind of get them to open their brains to what it was like to live back there at that time so that they can better understand some of the core concepts of the Bible. The kids are loving it, and we're having a great time with it as well. As you can see, I'm excited about it. I'm having fun with it, but then again, I am the horticulture geek. I love doing stuff like this, so I think it's pretty fun. Um, and in case you were wondering, those are Vacation Bible School fun trees. <laughs> we're, in the we're in the kids' storage room, so you see wacky stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd point that out because those are goofy, right? But that's what it's all about, being goofy and having fun with the kids and doing things with them that give them experiences so that they have fun at church, they remember core concepts, and they want to be lifelong learners of Jesus and his word. That's what it's all about. And so that's what we're doing here. We're trying this out. You know, and we come to the this fall. This may be a complete flop. We've never done this before. I've never done this before. Um, when we go to cut these gourds apart and make bowls, they may fall to pieces. It may not work. Who knows? Only time will tell. I'll try to do a follow-up video to show you how they turn out, if they turn out. But for now, the kids are enjoying it. There's, it's sinking in. And I thought I'd bring you along and show you kind of one of the projects that I'm working on currently. If you've enjoyed this video, I would sure love it if you would give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video, what you think about this idea. If you have suggestions on other ways we can get involved with gardening in our communities and in our churches and religious institutions, let me know. I'm all ears. I love to hear it. I would love to start that conversation. But until next time, guys, and like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. From my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening. God bless.